surrounded by wrestling fans. Not, not sports entertainment fans. Professional wrestling fans. Professional wrestling. This is it. This is us standing up. This is the Wrestling Man's Podcast. A podcast that stands up for professional wrestling. Why? Because wrestling matters. So join the revolution. Because the revolution is now. Hey, start the show. World, look into my eyes. When you see me on a show, when you see these fans, you know you've got the best in the damn world. We are ICW and you're going to know our name. Here we, here we, here we fucking go. Ladies, gentlemen, ICW fans, and Wrestling Mass Podcast fans, it is me, it's me, it's that H-E-A to that D, for back for another edition of the ICW Podcast, that's right. Now, I did Baromania, the first one, I did the Nottingham Show, yes, the Nottingham Show, and then I did Boom Shakalaka from Liverpool, uh, the Nottingham Show, I believe, was the Princesses in Another Castle, I did them three shows, today, I'm gonna go back a bit and do the night before Pyromania which was ICW blow in your cartridge which was coming from Newcastle and like I said this was the night before March 28th I believe it was the night before Pyromania and Wrestlemania basically Wrestlemania weekend or Pyromania weekend whichever one you see fit I'm sure if you're an ICW fan you'd probably say Pyromania weekend I don't blame you but with that being said before I get into the actual show reviewing uh, be sure to check out ICW podcast every single Tuesday for now at least until I've run out or whatever I don't know how long this series is going to go guys so you know it might go on every week it might be an alternative podcast to the Wrestling Matters podcast I don't know but you know with all that being said though you know It's going to go on for a while, so be sure to check this out each and every Tuesday on Podomatic, Stitcher Radio, iTunes, Mixcloud, Soundcloud, and YouTube as well. Be sure to check out the Wrestling Madness Podcast Facebook page as well. Uh, This podcast is a Wrestling Madness Podcast presentation hosted by and created by yours truly. Be sure to check out the fan page, the Facebook page on facebook.com forward slash WM podcast. Now, I had 219 going into this weekend leading into the podcast. I've now gone up to 310. Yeah, so thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for supporting the podcast on Facebook. Be sure to check out the Twitter site as well, at WM podcast. And again, thank you so much. You guys are pushing this podcast you're helping me push this podcast and i love you for it check out the wrestling matters channel where you can hear the podcast as well as other great wrestling stuff on www.youtube.com forward slash ajw wrestling matters but without further ado we're going to get in to the show it is icw blowing your cartridge from newcastle the night before by romania and it kicked off probably the best way to kick off really kicked off with rampage brown a guy who i'm familiar with uh seen him a few times with epw and that going one on one with Sha Samuels of the 55. And yes, Jim Zack Kennedy was at ringside. Both men testing each other's strength to start off. Then they let the fists fly, and a brawl in the center of the ring uh, breaks out. Rampage Power Slam gets a near fall. Rampage. Rampage using high impact offense, which was what it was in a high impact match, uh, to take control of Sha. A beautiful dropkick by Rampage that uh, but allows Kennedy to get the better of him and Shah takes advantage. Kennedy gets involved. Fight on the outside, Shah is in control. Shortcut tactics allow Shah to be in control for the 55. Rampage in deep, deep trouble but fights back till the suplex gets Shah and near fall. Shah in total control of Rampage on the mat. Diving shoulder, block, then a falcon arrow 
but Brown gets a near fall. Spine Buster by Shah gets him a near fall. A back and forth fight. That's where it broke down to, eventually. Backdrop, then a big kick on Shah. Kennedy gets on the apron. Brown grabs Kennedy. The kid, then kid fight, and Martin Kirby come running down. Then Tim Wiley spears Brown, and Shah gets the win. First blood of the evening to the 55 and I thoroughly enjoyed that match to be honest with you because it was a hard hitting match you knew the 55 were going to get involved at some point and they did and uh, yeah great way to start the show I would have probably put that as a main event though but we all know what the main event was it was Grado and Kid Fight and we all knew that was going to take place at some point but anyway any promotion no matter how no matter where Sha Samuels and Wan Page Brown could be a main event match Veronica is backstage looking for Grado not being able to find him and then the next match was Dickie Divers against the soon-to-be newest member of the New Age Click Wolfgang. That is, of course, if you listen to the Baromania or watch Baromania. Now, Wolfgang showing he has the power advantage. Power with Wolfgang, quickness with Dickie. Dickie hits a dropkick, rocks Wolfgang, till two arm drags from Wolfgang controls Dickie. Uh, Wolfgang flattens Dickie, gets a near fall. Wolfgang in total control, size and power, and agility too. It, in favour of Wolfgang. Wolfgang takes his time with Dicky, dictating the pace. Dicky takes the advantage of Wolfgang's mistake and hits an Insiguri, then a CM Punk knees, then a Bulldog and gets him a near fall. Wolfgang hits the slam dunk, which is getting him into like a fireman's carry position, lifting him up in the air and then driving the opponent right down into your legs, which is the knees area while you're taking a back bump. Then a power slam and Wolfgang goes up top, hits a senton, but gets a near fall. Dicky rolls up Wolfgang and wins, shocking Wolfgang and probably everybody in that ring. Someone tried to attack Dicky through thought it was Chris, but Renfrew attacks Dicky from behind with a steel chair and hits T-Virus and gets a statement on Wolfgang. On, on Dicky, but Wolfgang stops the rest of the beatdown. Little... Did we know until 24 hours later Wolfgang would join the New Age clique? Wolfgang, after the match, shakes Dickie's hand. Backstage, the 55 jump round Page Brown and basically make an example out of him. Uh, put a beat down on him. Big Demo is backstage with Veronica and says his job tonight is to beat Joe and prove he should be the number one contender. Going into his match now with Big Demo versus Joe Coffey. Feeling out process between the two, even from what I see. A game of one-upmanship, Joe hits a dropkick that rocks Damo, then a baseball slide dropkick fight takes place on the outside. It's a fight, hard-hitting stuff. These two just literally beating the hell out of each other. Damo with a power advantage, Damo in control, grounding and slowing Joe down. Damo flattening Coffee, really working on him, slowing the pace down of the offense. Joe hits a bulldog looking for deadlift, did not work, Damo gets a near fall. Rolling Sinton gets Damo a near fall, then hits a Sinton near fall again. Damo brings in a chair, sets him up for the Van Dom Dominator, or Van Dominator, but Iron Man hits an uppercut and uses the chair and hits a drop kick from the top rope, driving the chair into Damo's face. Joe mounts a fight back, three Hulkbusters clobbering blows, clothesline gets Joe Coffee a near fall. Coffee hits a rolling Sinton, a roll, yeah, a rolling Sinton, gets a near fall. Damo gets up. Hits a discus clothesline but gets a one count. A hard hitting fight that went from a wrestling match to a fight. Joe with the advantage till Demo drop kicked Joe in the corner. Misses the cannonball. Joe hits the discus clothesline, gets a near fall. Joe then hits the dead left suplex, gets him a near fall. Victory roll gets a near fall. Discus clothesline gets Joe Coffey the win. Respect is shown. Demo is backstage and sounds bitter but says he's back on the pile and plans to get into the front of the queue. Joe and Kenny prepare for their tag team or what was supposedly a tag team title match but it wasn't meant to be apparently but it made no difference anyway because Prolo Promotions went one on went two on two with Global Bollocks. Yes you heard me correct ladies and gentlemen Global Bollocks Joe Henry and then Zero G champion Kenny Williams. Prolo dissing Henry and Kenny and starts it with a non-title match and says it will be a non-title match. Henry and Coffee start Taking the fight to one another. Coffee tags in Polo. Polo promotions in control. Coffee controlling Hendry on the mat, getting the near fall. Hendry in trouble. Polo promotions grounding Hendry on the mat. Polo promotions isolating Hendry. Hendry fighting back, but to no avail. Polo, Polo locks in a camel clutch into a roll up, then Polo slam 
back to Kyle Clutch again, slowing down Joe Hendry or Kenny Williams. Uh, Polo Promotions dominating Global Bollocks. Kenny gets the tag and Joe mounts a fight back. And mounts, mounts a fight back. Drop kick to the back of Coffey. Roll up. Gets a near fall for Kenny. Then Coffey takes knee in the face and dives on Polo. And Kenny dives on Polo on the outside. The quack buster countered. Then Coffey takes a knee. And then Kenny takes the elbow. That literally knocks him out in the, in the centre of the ring. It literally just fl- knocks him on his feet he's out on his feet and then takes the clothes then rocks him with a clothesline coffee to Kenny Polo tags in and hits the Polo slams hits about 5, 6, 7 or 8 I don't know I've lost count running knee by Kenny Joe tagged in and the fight back was on Hendry manages to get caught with a drop kick counter for counter then gets the pop up German suplex and Polo promotions win so whether it was a a uh, non title or a tag team match it made no difference anyway Polo promotions get the victory and a little bit of momentum for Mr Polo going into his match that we all know happened at at uh, Baron Mania with Lionheart. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is part one of the review. I will be back after these quick messages with part two of ICW's Blowing Your Cartridge Newcastle Show review here on the ICW Podcast. So stay tuned. For new episodes of the Wrestling Matters Podcast, as well as other great professional wrestling-related content, be sure to check out the Wrestling Matters channel on YouTube at www.youtube.com forward slash AJW Wrestling Matters. You'll get weekly episodes of the podcast, and you'll get other great wrestling content as well. Be sure to check it out, subscribe, like, and do all that good stuff. The Wrestling Matters channel, where wrestling matters on YouTube. If you like the Wrestling Matters Podcast, why not check out the Wrestling Matters Podcast Facebook fan page at www.facebook.com forward slash WM Podcast. Wrestling Matters, wrestling fans. Be sure to listen to the Sunday Segway Wrestling Podcast. What? What? Every Sunday with Kenny Killer and the Galdem Sugar Shoes. Yes! Yes! With all the news, views, and laughter that you want. They like jet airplanes. They like long limousines. Every Sunday, the Sunday Segway Wrestling Podcast on Podomatic, iTunes, and YouTube. So why don't you choke on that, slap nut? If you're a fan of the Wrestling Matters Podcast, be sure to check out the the Wrestling Matters Podcast Twitter page at WM Podcast for news, reviews, and upcoming episodes, and you will be let known on various other topics as well in the world of professional wrestling. So if you like the Wrestling Matters Podcast, be sure to follow the Wrestling Matters Podcast on Twitter at WM Podcast. Wrestling Matters, wrestling fans. Be sure to tune in every single Tuesday now for the Wrestling Man's Podcast Extra where I'll be hosting a podcast on one promotion and one promotion only. I C W Insane Championship Wrestling, the hottest promotion in Scotland, where I'll be reviewing their shows. Oh my god! Talking ICW. That's 1340! And who knows, maybe getting some guests on. So be sure to tune in to the Wrestling Matters Podcast Extra ICW Podcast. It's same Championship Wrestling every Tuesday on YouTube, Podomatic, Stitcher Radio, downloaded free at iTunes, Mixcloud, and Soundcloud. Wrestling Matters, wrestling fans. World, look into my eyes. When you see me on a show, when you see these fans, you know you've got the best in the damn world. We are ICW and you're gonna know our name! Here we! Here we! Here we fucking go! Wait, oh my god! Is that? Billy! That's Bram! Billy is Bram! Wow! TNA Superstar Bram is in the ring! Oh my God. Welcome back to ICW's podcast, presented by the Wrestling Matters podcast, of course, yours truly, the head Anthony Walker, uh, and without further ado, guys, hope you're enjoying this podcast, by the way, without further ado, though, we'll get right back into it with the uh, the second half of the podcast and the tag team match that started it, which was the 55, Tim Wiley and Martin Kirby going against the Bucky Boys, Stevie Boy and Davey Boy. We Man cuts his promo, then punks out the 55, referring them to Right Said Fred, and basically calls 
calling Kirby Richard O'Brien from the Crystal Maze, but then he refers to Crystal Meth as well, which was hilarious. This is Kirby and Wally and calls Kennedy a homo. James gets in the face and the 55 attack. Quick pace wrestling to start with off with Kirby and Stevie Boy, then Tim and Davy Boy. Davy Boy using his power, Bucky Boy's double team. Tim leaping clothesline flattens Stevie Boy. The 54, 55 rather, in control of Stevie Boy. Tag team wrestling begins on behalf of the 55, of course. 55, Tim Wiley dominating uh, Stevie Boy. Kirby dissing Stevie Boy, spits in his face with water from the top rope. Kirby grounding Stevie Boy, slowing him down. Uh, 55 in total control. When Stevie Boy tries to fight back, uh, 55 stop him. Innovative off- offense creates space for Stevie Boy to tag Davy Boy, fight back on. Spear to Kirby, then Davy Boy takes a spear from, from Tim, then a roundhouse kick from Davy Boy in a quick paced tag team match. Bucky Boys looking for 3D. Shah pulls Stevie out, comes in, takes out the ref, Shah Samuels that is, and beat down to the Bucky Boys begins. But Rampage Brown makes the save. Brown kicks Wiley right in the face, and I mean right in the face, and then chases sh- off Sa- Shah. Uh, Bucky Boys hit 3VD, which is their version of the 3D, and get the win. Great tag team match to start off the second half of the show. Carmel is backstage getting ready to support her man Liam Thompson. Well, that was for at least another 24 hours at least, if you saw what happened at Barramania. But she was going to be getting ready to support Liam against Mikey Whiplash. Hence, Liam Thompson versus Mikey Whiplash. Matt wrestling hold for hold stuff. Liam works the arm and gets a near fall. Mikey wrestling Liam and other way around. Matt wrestling basic stuff. Feeling out process even so far. Smart wrestling, good showcase stuff from both men. Liam working the leg, grounded Mikey. Carmel stops Mikey's diving attempt. He basically got involved in this match. Liam grounding Mikey, slowing him down, slowing the pace down to his advantage. Mikey baseball slides outside, grabs hold of Carmel and then takes a drop kick from Liam. Liam beating down outside, allowing Carmel to get involved also. The Liam beat down on Mikey. Liam showing things, slowing things down rather, on the mat, locks in a camel clutch and pulls the hair while he's at it. Mikey mounts a fight back but Liam hits a drop kick and gets a near fall. Northern Lights from Liam gets him a near fall. Liam is one step ahead of Mikey, which was the story of the bout. Clothesline t- takes Liam outside of the ring. Mikey goes for the dive again, but Liam stops that. Drop kick from the top rope gets Liam a near fall. Liam misses another drop kick. Then Mikey uses Carmel's DDT, which is Randy Orton's DDT, where he hangs him on the second rope, but gets a near fall out of it. Counter for counter. Liam eventually hits his finishing move, the backcracker, and gets a near fall. Carmel hits a DDT on, and Liam gets a near fall. She came in, got involved, hit a DDT on Mikey but didn't work for Liam. Carmel goes to the top, hits a hurricane runner. Carmel takes the adulation from the crowd. Liam is not too happy about it. Mikey rolls up Liam and gets a near fall. Liam gets in the face of Carmel. Mikey dives on Liam, then hits an uppercut from the top rope and gets a near fall. Mikey counters Liam, Liam and then hits a zombie maker on Liam and gets the win. Mikey then goes for Carmel looking to find out who was the guy who was playing these videos. We all knew who it was eventually a Baromania. And I believe Mikey said she wanted her to come back, but whether that was the case, I don't know. But whatever it was, it didn't work. Mikey then cuts a promo basically calling out the guy behind the videos at Baromania. And he reckons it was Liam, uh, Lewis Garvin, his opponent at Baromania. Mikey walks up the ramp, the video plays, and then he cuts a promo backstage basically again calling him out and reckons it was Lewis Garvin. And if it was Lewis Gavin to show his face but it wasn't was it because if you listen to the Baromania or you watch Baromania we all knew it was New Age Click member BT Gun. Now the main event was Grado one on one with Kid Fight. Now after dissing Grado, Kid takes a right hand from Grado. Basically, Grado knocked him on his ass. Then a splash in the corner. Then a rolling slice. Then hits another rolling st- slice. That's Grado. But Kid cuts him off. But Grado grabs one. It, but Grado is one step ahead of Kid fight. Then hits another rolling slice and gets a near fall. Grado throwing the jabs, but Kid kicks Grado between the legs. Now the offense 
on Grado begins from Kid Fight. Kid Fight slowing down Grado. Kennedy in the ring slaps Grado around. Grado headbutts him and gets in his face. But Kid Fight is right on top of that to put any halt to any offense on Mr. Kennedy. Grado gets a bit of payback by kicking Kid Fight in the legs. Then sends Kid Fight to the outside. Hits a double axe handle. Throws Kid Fight into the crowd. The crowd fight goes to the crowd. Fight goes to the bar. And then goes to another bar. And goes all the way around the arena. And the match basically turned into a brawl battling in the crowd kid fight they eventually go up on the stage uh, a dx chop grado goes for a pedigree but takes a backdrop on the stage kid fight back in control grado will not stay down goes to the top takes too long but hits a version of an f5 and gets a near fall small package gets grado a near fall then kid fight hits a brain buster and gets him a near fall ddt counted into a rock bottom gets grado a near fall grado looking for the weed boot but tim wiley comes out clotheslines grado on the top rope kid rolls up and grado kid rolls up grado and gets the win then the beatdown continues continues global bollocks look to make the save but then kirby and Shah samuels come out and it was basically a four on two numbers game actually four and three numbers game in the favor of the 55 then noam dar's music hits tim goes to meet him but gets kicked in the face goes for kirby kirby cups him off noam manages to hit a drop kick to martin kirby then from out of nowhere tna superstar bram hits the ring power bombs dar then a pop-up power bomb to kenny williams then hits two ddt moves on Hendry and Grado and then Bram, Bram joins the 55. Grado is absolutely pissed at ringside, wants to get back in the ring, all hell breaks loose. 55 James R. Kennedy in particular challenge all four men to a match at Baromania and says Bram and Kennedy says Bram is the newest member of the 55 and then after that Shah comes in, they all backstage with Veronica, Shah comes in says get out you whore and fro- basically just throws her out. 55 cut a promo raising hell, all kid says you don't care how he gets the job done. Kennedy says violence is their business and business is good. Bram says the reason why he joined the 55 is they are bad motherfuckers that just beat the hell out of people and he likes that and that's why he joins them. And Kennedy finishes by saying at Baromania the 55 will take over. And that's about it for that episode and this review. 5 out of 5, 9.5 out of 10 if I was going out of 10. It was just great. Great show all around. And this is why, and this is one of the reasons guys why you should be getting the on-demand service for three pounds 75 a month equivalent of six pound you're getting all this great wrestling and getting shocking moments and if you can't see this or you don't see it on the uh, icw on demand service don't forget to check out icw online on youtube as well because you do get great stuff man it's icw is the shit and icw is my company it is my alternative to wwe and yes i will still be watching wwe but how can you not ignore and how can you not like icw but with that being said ladies and gentlemen hope you've enjoyed this podcast that is about it uh tune in next time for the wrestling matters podcast icw special again icw podcast is the fifth episode next week also tune in next week to the wrestling matters podcast well i'll be having some guests on uh be sure to check out the newest episode of the wrestling matters podcast as well and with that being said my name is anthony walker one more thing before i go check out the games matter channel as well while i play games that you can and do series and do random stuff i'm in the building process at the moment but i'm taking it to the top even if it kills me be sure to check out the games matter channel all the information will be on the wrestling matters channel on www.youtube.com forward slash ajw wrestling matters and with that being said my name is the hair anthony walker until next time peace out